was the distant past of 2018. I was on my phone, proudly listening to a YouTube video of how to draw, when the dogs were barking outside. I thought that learning to draw a dog was more important than keeping them quiet, so I ignored them. But my mom told me to go outside and get them. When I walk outside, I hear this weird howling noise, and I investigate the source. When I look under the gate below the tree in my neighbor's yard, I see a cat. It was brown and tabby with black stripes. It was meowing because of the huge, bloody gash above its arm. It had flies and maggots going inside and outside the wound. It was wincing in pain. It was also surprisingly calm, like it had given up. It just looked hopeless. I started petting the cat. He didn't move. He didn't even look at the dogs when they were barking at him. I called to my mom that there was a cat outside and he was injured. My mom came outside with me and told my dad to bring a towel, crate. No, I'm not getting anything. Nothing. When she comes outside, we try to hold the dogs back when we're looking yeah. at the cat. Of course, they would budge oh, she's not. barking their tails off trying to she's say not to eat the cat. My mom said that she knew it wasn't a stray because it was so calm. My dad comes back with all the materials on the other side of the fence, and my mom and I go around too. We also grab my brother Max while we're inside. When we come around, I see the poor cat trying to get up and eat the food. My dad tried to bribe the cat into the cage, and once he lived in, he licked the bowl clean. My mom and I put a towel in the car and set the crate on top of it. Then we drove him to the vet clinic. When we arrived, the cat was already practically asleep because of all the activity compared to the lack of it when he was under the tree. The vet said they would try the best they can, but the cat might not make it. We went home knowing we did what we could. The next day, we went to the hospital to check if he was okay. The doctor said he was fine. He had bandages on his arm, and he was in the crate we brought. We used next door to try to find his owner. It's an app to talk to neighbors. My mom made a post and sent a picture. Luckily, someone claimed the cat. She said the cat had been missing for three weeks. We found out through our online interaction that the cat's name was Kenny. <laughs> I think the experience with Kenny inspired me to be more generous with my time. He taught me that I can drop what I'm doing and help someone. He also inspired me because he was a cat. Now, on the final note, I will leave you with a quote from my cat named Dragon. Meow. <laughs>